It is so great to be standing here in front of you today as we begin another chapter in the history of NYSEN. I want to take a few moments to express my sincere appreciation and gratitude to Andy Pallotta and Jolene DeBrango for all that they have done to make NYSEN the strongest statewide union in the nation. I'm extremely proud of the work of our program services staff and the relationships we have built, especially with our retirees, our SRPs, our healthcare professionals, and our mental health network. We are all particularly proud of the peer support line that we introduced at last year's RA. And we have already provided much needed comfort to nearly 1,000 members in a few short months. For the many decades that I've done this work, I always emerge confident that becoming a teacher was by far the best choice I could have ever made. Hope is what we all must have if we want to see public education, unions, and our civilization as a whole thrive. If we believe in the power of hope, then we also believe in the necessity of change. Because hope seeks change. What we do now will be the inspiration for those who will be here in this hall 50 years from now that our future leaders will take on every foe that wishes us harm with the same guts, tenacity, spirit, drive, and hope that we do every single day because we are a union built by labor whose foundation will not crack. A union who continues to grow its reach and its sphere of influence because we will never stop fighting for those who cannot. A union that reinvents itself, embraces change, and doesn't rest on their laurels. And we will always be a union who will embody the principles of our Constitution that continuously strives to be that more perfect union for ourselves and our posterity. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless NYSA.